I got some news today. The site fee renewal has come through. So we've just been billed for a site fees for 2025. And they've changed. We've been waiting to see how much site fees would increase on us next year. And now we've found out. It did go up a few percent, but it's not gone up by a massive amount. I wouldn't think 3.6, I think it's more like 4% it's gone up this year. Which is better than some of the stories I've been hearing from people since we started this channel. Somebody said they got theirs increased by nearly 40%, which is crazy. So I wasn't too bothered about the increase for next year. But there was something else that I didn't realise that they did. You pay your bill by March the following year, because that's the way that they run. But according to the letter I got, it says that if I pay the site fees in full before the end of December, then I get some discount. And that discount basically amounts to enough money to buy a gas bottle, which I think is pretty good, to be honest. It'll keep us warm during those colder months. So that's what I've decided I'm going to do. I'm going to pay it before the end of December, and that's a set up for another full season. So a little bit of something that I didn't expect. So I'm quite happy with what's happened so far. There was something else that I heard about somebody who was interested in buying this site. One of the people that have got a van on site did actually get a chance to talk to him. And one good thing that they said is, they think the grounds have been really kept well, which is basically my job. And they said that if they do get the site, they're hoping that I'll stay on as the gardener, which is great news for me because I do like doing that job. But he also said that if he got it, he was thinking of turning it into a no age limit caravan site. Obviously, all caravan sites have an age limit and they range from five years to ten years. And at that stage, you have to get a new van and get rid of your old one. But this guy wants to make it so that as long as your van is in good condition, not an eyesore, is not going to limit you to an age which would be brilliant for everybody on this site. That's obviously not been confirmed yet, but if the guy does get it and sticks to what he said, it's good news all round. But on the other end of the scale, we noticed that since it started to drop really cold at night, something happened that I wasn't expecting. And I'm sure that people that's got caravans or had caravans in the past will know all about it, but it's not something that I've ever experienced. While I was in bed last night, I just put my hands on top of his duvet cover. When I run my hand across the top of that duvet cover, the top of that sheet was wet, which is definitely not a good thing. We have got those timed eaters in bedroom, but this was something like three o'clock in the morning. But you can just set them to come on straight away. You just turn them on and adjust the temperature accordingly. So straight away, I turned it up to around 17 and left it on for a couple of hours. I can't see as I've been damp settling on the tops of your sheets is a really good thing so that is something i definitely wasn't expecting i know that there's a good chance that you're going to get damp on your windows condensation and you could also have problems with mold if you get too much condensation but i didn't expect the sheets to get wet that's something different so we might have to set those timers for those eaters to come on through night when we're not up just to keep it aired out and get rid of that what I assume can only be warm air meeting cold air. I would assume that that could lead to health problems. So it's something we definitely need to sort out. But when I put that heater on, it was only on about 10 minutes and then it clicked off. They are 24 hour timed ones. So you can do it as many times as you want through day or night. But because it was something sudden and unexpected to me anyway, I just turned it on manually and just left it. So far, I haven't seen any signs of mould anywhere. We're still getting all the condensation at windows, but that's to be expected. We're basically putting as gas fire on now, quite often at night, but on very low. And so far, it seems to be lasting quite well. But that's the reason why we got those electric ones, just in case we have to run out. We are keeping two all time at the back of this van, as you probably know from previous videos just in case the weather gets so bad that nobody can actually get out to bring us another gas can. So if one runs out, we connect up with a new one and get the other one replaced straight away. 
I haven't made a video for quite a while and the reason for that is because I had a problem with my tooth, really painful and it's lasted quite a long time which is something else I didn't think about. I've not registered at a dentist but worse than that I've not even registered at a doctor yet. So two things that slipped my mind that I definitely need to get sorted out because I ended up having to buy a course of antibiotics and it was only one pack with about 15 in it cost me £32. I didn't realise all that expensive. So I think it's going to be something that's got to get done very soon. Just in case I not only get another bad toothache like that, but I also get any health problems. It's just one of those things that I completely overlooked. But at least in some respects we have had some good news. Yes, the site fees have gone up a bit, which I did expect anyway. But we are getting that little bit of discount. But also I get 20% off food and drink as well since I'm employed by the site. And then there's the case of the guy who's thinking about buying the site, making it no age limit for vans. So that would be brilliant if that happens. But as always, it's not set in stone yet. I'll keep you updated if I hear any more about it. I'm not sure if there's something else that I can do to combat that problem of those sheets becoming damp through at night. Because it's definitely something that I don't want. And I also don't want to be putting that eater on all through at night. I could set it to intervals to go on and off every hour or so. That's not really a problem. But maybe you guys know a better way to cope with that. So if you do, just let me know in comments. And this was just a quick video to update you on what's happening. And the fact that the site renewal fees have just come up. And also what they incur. So as we get to a point now where the nights are getting very cold, we're going to start and face all these problems that we've pre-mentioned in other videos and we'll see how we cope with that. I have looked on weather earlier on and apparently we've got a couple of days this coming week where the temperature is going to drop down to zero. So it's all downhill from then. We'll see what happens and any more developments regarding this site or anything else that I come across, I will update you. So thank you so much for being part of this channel. I really do appreciate it. And just one last thing before you go. You may or may not know that I've also started a quiz channel. And we do loads of different types of quizzes. Which I find really helpful through autumn and winter to keep them cogs turning. Because we know there's not much to do outdoors at that time of year. And we're putting a few quizzes on every single week. So if you're interested in playing free online quizzes just to entertain and educate at the same time then I'll leave a link in the description to that new channel so you can pop over there, try a few of those quizzes out because we will be doing them all the way through winter and into spring. So if that's something you're interested in, pop over to that channel, take a look and if you like what you see then I'd really appreciate it if you'd also subscribe to that channel. And if you want to see what happens as the temperatures start to get lower and lower as we go through us first autumn and winter in a static caravan then please hit that subscribe button and press that notifications bell and i'll see you soon take care